Yeah, welcome to the Weed Show. This is State Farm Stadium in Arizona. Kind of a secret gem of this championship. This is a larger floor and surprisingly good dirt. If you think of the old uh, Chase Bank or Bank One ballpark dirt that they had when they raced in the baseball stadium downtown, this dirt actually seems a lot better. And they got a roof over the place, so it's not going to dry out that bad. Of course, our show brought to you by the Honda CRF 450R and CRF 250R. Low end torque to get you out of corners faster and chase checkered flags even faster than that. So go with the brand that's been dominating off-road for 50 years. Go to your powersports.honda dealer. I found a couple of Honda riders here. Uh, I don't, it's press day. You guys aren't allowed to do track walk. I mean, they're busted right now. Uh, I found a couple of Honda riders right here. It's one o'clock, so it's officially press day now. Oh, okay. So you have to talk. Um, <laughs> who had, who had, you'll see Cole Seeley and Anthony Rodriguez racing Supercross maybe two years ago. Did anyone have the odds that we'd see you guys at a race? Did you think it was happening? No, you'd be back. I, I did you? Didn't think did so. you? <laughs> no. Definitely. You did not? Okay. <laughs> Long odds. Oldenburg, you've been around. I'm you're still guy. here. I'm yeah, you're, you're, you've been around. But you're almost done too. Almost. You're almost done too. <laughs> the Tony Alessi program. We got three good guys on the track because of this. Um, how's it been going for you here in the in the return to the U.S.? You've been racing the whole yeah. time, right? Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, I was in Brazil for three years after yeah. taking a year off. And um, going back to American Supercross was definitely a lot harder than I thought. Okay. Although my skills are still there. Yeah. At the races, I've been struggling a little bit. And um, this weekend is my first weekend on the 450, so that's going to be exciting. Oh, you're a 450 guy now. Yeah. Big 450 guy. Okay. Tony's because that's got a plan. what I did the last four years when I was in Brazil and whatnot. So you think it might help you? It might I be better think so. for you? It definitely okay. fits my smooth riding style. Okay. All right. Good to see it. A-Rod is back. Uh, so Cole Seeley returned last weekend. How did it, how was it? It was okay. Yeah. I was, I was yeah. pretty uncomfortable. The track was nasty. Like, yeah. That's, weird. that's so, Seattle. Probably yep. not the best one. So I was in my head a little bit. Um, and then in the main event, I was definitely in my head because like, I know like obviously the, the front runners are coming to lap me and I'm like trying to get out of their way. And then, you know, a couple of guys that I'm yeah. racing sneak by, but you know, we're, we're here to just kind of have a learning process for World Supercross. So, um, I, I definitely think we benefited from that. So, yeah, uh, the speed was okay in the heat yeah, yeah. and the, the yeah. qualifying. Did you straight up like, hey man, I haven't been training. I got tired, or was it track and lapping, or, or was it actually like it was? It um, was nerves and like I, I definitely got tired for sure. Yes. But um, it, was, it was nerves like all day being nervous and then uh, like trying to get every, out of everybody's way. Like at the end of the race, I was just yeah. like, uh, and you really have not done that much. I would think it's been no. a long time since yeah. you've been the guy. It's been three, four years. Yeah, but I'm saying you weren't the lapper. Exactly. At that time. Yeah, so yeah. I understand like when those guys are coming for me, like yeah. I understand how much it helps when a lapper moves over. So I was like, I'm gonna, I don't want to be that guy and like interrupt anybody's race. So, um, yeah. And are you glad you did it though? Are you glad you did yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely beneficial for the races later in the year, so. All right, WSX. Are you doing WSX? That's the goal. That is the goal. <laughs> All right, so there we go. The uh, Moto Concepts team, Honda Boys, Rodriguez on a 450. We give you the scoops here on the Weed Show. Welcome back to uh, Cole Seeley, who made his return from uh, retirement from AMA. He did race those two WSX rounds last fall. Um, but speaking of fall, it was like, I felt like every single first turn, the guy was down. So we didn't really get a good read on how good Cole Seeley is. So uh, we'll see how they do tonight. And we'll be back with more Weed Show after this. And uh, thanks to Honda for the backing. No. Frequent weed show guest, oh, Christian Craig. Correct. Yeah, I almost feel. Hey, is this Minnesota connection? Like your brief Minnesota? He's actually from Minnesota. I'm yeah, he's, but you had he you had the time. Yeah. This is where I met him. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It was a Minnesota connection. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is he like local fast guy? Yes. He was like yes. My Anywhere Dad in Nova, kind of, I'm happy to oh, think he would. He would rip. Yes. So Jerry, Our local sand tracks were done. Yeah. Yes. Were you literally you were taking him to track? How young were you at this time? 16. Wow. Yeah. yeah pick him up. Take him you're only like what? 22. <laughs> but you were like dad. We go yeah, kind of track, funny. Drop him off. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And is this even when you were racing or for you it was no, just a hobby? That was like when you were tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ride for fun. Did you see the 1985? Yes. You did see the 85? But he never rode it with me. Well, you got to keep the hours low on that. I had the Geico bikes. So yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Minnesota Connection. I figured that out. Uh, everything good for you? Yeah. Getting better all the time? Trying. Yeah, that's the idea. And that's the plan. I, yes, but I feel like if you charted your season, it really has pretty much yeah, gone that way, right? Wise, yeah. Yes. But what do you mean results-wise? Not riding-wise? I mean, I feel like I've been riding good. It's just the wrong time, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I ride good yes. in practice or heat race and then the main events, obviously. Uh, yeah, but I talked to you uh, last week and it was that the track, it's not the same. Yeah, it's it's not easy to just do that. Yeah, it's learning the, when it does break down. Yes. I need to improve. So that's yes. one thing for me. So. Right. 
So yeah, it's not a pressure thing or anything like that. It is it no. is not the same racetrack. No, it's adapting and learning yeah. like change your line since instead of staying in that like one line, you know? Yeah. That yeah. line gets blown out, you gotta move. Right. And that's what these guys are so good at. So You know, it sounds to me like you're a rookie. I'm just saying. That's what it sounds like. He doesn't he doesn't take it, but they don't do the rookie update this year, so there's nothing? No. Nah. Ah, no love. We're not, no rookie. Okay. Yeah, the wrong year to change that. All right. All right, Christian Craig, frequent frequent guest of the Weed Show. Um, it's past 1.30. I thought these guys were going to ride. Um, it turned from glorified track walk back into press day. Uh, Cooper Webb, I talked to him for uh, race day live, and um, the stats at this track for him are not good. I'm more media, dude. More. You're the Ray Sunshine. Look, I'm doing yet more media. I already interviewed him for Race Day Live. Watch the show tomorrow for that. I don't want to interview you again. That's messed There's up. There's a literal layer of Ray of Sunshine on the track. Yeah, that's that's figuratively Adam right there. This is literal Adam. That is figurative Adam. Because you're just happy to be here, man. We all should be like that. Shanty's probably man. pissed off every weekend. Why? Are you? Still, are you? No. Or you actually enjoy it? Oh no, I, I think I still I'm, am like have emotions like a human being, but it's just like we just don't I live an intentional here. life. Man. I. My wife said to me, she's like, you know, if you tell people this is what you do for a living, they'd be like, are you serious? This is what you do? That's what we need to think about. Yes. It could be a uh, concrete. Nothing against the concrete guys. Nothing against concrete guys, absolutely. but you're, you're working on dirt bikes and flying to cities. And, a lot of people yeah. work on dirt bikes after their job. I do it for a job. That's right. Yeah, then you're done. All right, boys. Keep it a positive. Adam Cintarillo. So, uh, yeah, they're going to go ride here in a second. Um, no media, bro. I don't know. This, is a, this, is some, this isn't even breaking news. This is like broken news. <laughs> Okay, so we have a time machine here? What was that? We have a time machine? Because I'm looking at Weston Pike we on a number 18 Suzuki. <laughs> there must be a time machine. What year are we in? 2018. This is 2018. This is 2018. 2018. This is 2018. <laughs> All right, I am confusion right now. Well, uh, go rip it up. I will. You're uh, Weston Pike. Get the goods. I mean, fly racing gear. I mean, it looks shockingly like it always did. I don't know what's going on. I think they're playing some games. Remember Weston Pike? Maybe it's maybe it's not over. Maybe it was just like a a, a couple year layoff. Um, I don't know. He's lining up. That'll be interesting to see if he actually goes out there and rides. I think they're just playing some games here. So uh, what I was saying earlier was we are tied in this championship. We are tied. Eli Tomac has red plates back on his bike. They are chrome red plates, by the way. They're going with a chrome look to the graphics on his Yamaha this weekend, including a chrome red background with the one. And because it's tied, everyone's starting to break down these final six rounds of Monster Energy Supercross, Webb versus Tomac, which track favors which rider. Personally, I don't like doing that kind of math. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people say things like, oh, uh, someone's gonna go one, get a win here, and someone else is gonna get a second here, and it's gonna affect the math like this. Rhodes Racing, there are six races, this one being a triple crown, and five regular main events. Someone's gonna fall, someone's gonna get a four, Someone's going to make a mistake when you didn't expect to get a bad start. A surprise guy is going to win. I don't like making those kind of assumptions. So to read into which track is better for which rider, I think it's foolish. Come on, Levi Kitchen. However, however, I will say that the statistics in this building for Cooper Webb on a 450 are not good. So I'm going to temper that by saying, and I asked him this, is that because there's something about this dirt or this layout that is not good for you? Or is it the fact that Glendale normally pops up early in the calendar and usually when it's not strong at the beginning of the season? And he said, no, it's a schedule thing. We're always changing. And I will uh, change his career. He we're always changing stuff when we're at this race early in the season. Now, this year I have my bike where I want it. And I don't think there's any problems to me on this track or on the surface. So he's not looking into the stats or the numbers.
Soviet semi. Stay with us. All right, here's the hot line that's opened up. You gotta try to be able to jump. There's a little knuckle on the inside. Watch Jen do it. You gotta be able to jump from there to the table. That's not easy to get. More and more guys are doing it as this session is going on between the Vespa and Charge. Barely. That takes a lot to get on it. And you gotta really blow this corner, to be honest. You can't take the ideal line. You take the good line there. Okay, welcome back. Now, uh, the last week's show we had uh, was a midweek show where we showed you KTM's brand new building. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Justin Brayton is here, everybody. Justin Brayton is here. Yeah. Look, man, this up, is please? inevitable. We ended up sitting next to each other in it's the front row, first class on plane today. Yeah. We will be announcing from the floor tomorrow. Absolutely. This is the way life was designed. I mean, I, I get to I'm in Charlotte for three days. So uh -huh. my first uh -huh. flight out of Charlotte again. Yep. Get on the plane, row one, one B. Weech, 1A. Yep, 1A. So. And our flight was delayed two and a half hours. Yeah. No problem, we just solved more this, problems. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So awesome. you were uh, interviewing Plessinger for Race Day Live. Yes. Because yep. you're a media guy now. That's right. So uh, I'm here to give you the tour of the new KTM rig. Uh, so we had the building, the $53 million new building in California that we debuted on the uh, last week show. Now they have an all new hospitality truck. This is two years in the making and we're gonna give you a little tour. They're really, really proud of this rig. This is a huge step up. Now a couple of the teams, KTM, Honda also has race rig and hospitality rig, but this hospitality rig is next level. We got said, no, you're allowed to work. This is a place of work. None of the hospitality rigs look like this. This looks like a full on restaurant and it's actually so neat. It's kind of like the offices there in California. I didn't want to have to show uh, those offices because I was so afraid I was going to drop something or mess something up. Here's Steph Nutt, Red Bull KTM PR. This is the key. This is a true commercial level kitchen. Every other rig at these races, the cooking takes place usually outside on a grill or there's a microwave and some drawers with snacks. This is a real deal. Again, this is like a restaurant level quality kitchen and sink. Uh, which is gonna make the place a whole lot nicer for the staff and crew and riders to work out of. Can I put in an order with this high-end Steph Nutt? Can I? Because I know you, this is your specialty, Steph. This is your specialty. Yes, my baby. Did you actually uh, have a hand in some of the, what this machine would need to be? Because you are an expert in the field. Yes. We had, we had an older version of this machine yeah. in our old semi. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one's kind of, it's the new, touch screen nobody can mess this up and you no. always oh, become oh, oh, no i could i could mess it up i could yeah. mess it up yeah. so i'm gonna have you make me something because i could still mess it up trust me really oh i'm horrible i can't yeah. even do keurigs i can't even do a keurig ice coffee for today ice coffee for today can i get an iced coffee all right coffee. steph that's gonna make an iced coffee on the upgraded coffee machine in here uh this is the bathroom that's pretty self-explanatory i would say this is going to be the uh, lounge room but again the race rig is where they're probably going to break down footage this is just for other meetings the race rig on the other side and then let's show you upstairs in here so this is individual rider locker what's up what's up bro? what's up this is cooper webb come on oh can we come on in up. wow wow how about that now i heard you have a motorhome here but you came in here yeah yeah we have a motorhome for the little one yep um and the wife but this is my getaway. I can get to watch the Masters. Yeah. Get changed. Do you think you will watch there. race stuff on here? Will you use this to watch? No, or is it all I'm take place over there? The oh, that's the bottom line. Yeah. You're that into it. Yeah. Oh. Do you... I'll get my lap times printed and they're handed right here and I'm good. <laughs> we don't even look at this. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Uh, are you a golf guy? I suck at golf, but I like watching Okay. You like sport, watching it? Any sport. Okay, I like um, it. There is a feel, I will say, to watching the Masters. It's so relaxing and chill. Probably puts yeah. it in a good zone. It does. It puts you in a good zone. But yeah, while you're here, is, this is my bunk. The, um, the old hospitality rig you're using, did it have the individual thing, or were no, you all just on no, a bench? No, we, uh, we all had a bench. Right. Yeah, it was kind of like a bed, just one little locker. So this one's uh, pretty cool. And I'm so, short enough to lay right here for a nap, but I'm not quite short enough for this. That's my only... You tried. You tried your best Will to be Han, as short as Will possible. Han could do it, but I could. 
So you unfortunately had to hang out with AP the whole time in the old one, and now you can shut them off. Yeah, you but can... it's funny because we're still talking to each other. He's not here right now, but we, yeah. can, we can talk through the walls. <laughs> That's what so you're doing anyway. It's, it's bullshit through the walls now. It's not face-to-face. -face. Okay, so it's really nothing's changed. <laughs> yeah. it's a lot has changed and nothing's changed. All right, this is pretty rad Thanks, for man. breaking this setup down. Thanks for being my model, yeah. Cooper Webb, none other than the two-time champ. Yeah, here's the other ones. I'm just going to go by the gear here. This would be AP. Huh? Masters are on everywhere. And then uh, this would be Maximus Volans rig, but I think Maximus is actually using a little bit of storage up here. I believe Maximus is using the old hospitality rig that is still uh, here. They're rotating that one out. So K Tim just wanted to show this off because it's a real step up. And this is what I equated to the new building, the new race shop that you saw the other day, and this new rig here. Um, <laughs> at the very hey timing couldn't have been better. Thanks, Steph. Not couldn't have gone better. Um, a lot of the NBA teams have done this. A lot of college sports programs have done this. You get to a certain point where everybody's going all out on the court or on the track or whatever they can to be the best they can be, right? So what is left? What is left where you can try to step up even more? So this kind of reminds me how NBA franchises decided to have even nicer locker rooms because they're like, if we can do anything to make our athletes even 1% more comfortable, or to make other athletes say, man, they got a really cool thing. I wish I worked over there. I'd like to be on that team. Anything you can do to get that edge, that's what a lot of the professional sports franchises have done. And that's kind of what the feel of this rig is. If you get to hang out in a cooler hospitality rig than the others, eh, maybe your day is going to be that much better. You'll ride better. Uh, maybe it's more comfortable for your family. Or maybe some other people get jealous when they're like, man, they got this. I want to work for those guys. So it's an arms race all the time, be it motorcycles or rigs. Thanks, Steph or just iced coffee. Anyway, thanks to uh, KTM for giving us an exclusive tour. So new rig to go with the new building. That's the old hospitality rig there. I think Coop's now getting worked on by uh, Doc G. And here is the, oh no, Coop's right there. Uh, there is the uh, race rig. I got an iced coffee out of the deal. Highly worth it. And this is the race rig. Which I'll show you right now. Yeah. How was my guy Brayton? Was he good? Oh, he was awesome. Was awesome. As always. He's dude, exactly. He's, he's the best. Good. Straight class that guy is. I mean, he's wears a nice shirt and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's all class. He's, he's got the professional mic placement. He's, yeah, he's good. He's already learning the ropes. Jeff from Race Day Live is Brayton pretty good, huh? He's pretty good, isn't pretty he? Good. Yeah, he's pretty good. So really, that's what I learned here. The rig is really nice, and Justin Brayton remains awesome. Uh, thanks for watching the Weed Show, and uh, thanks to KTM with hospitality. And don't forget, watch. Watch. I'm gonna. What's up, Carlos? Watch how I conveniently step out of the rig and then mention that our show is brought to you by the Honda CRF 250R and 450R. Visit powersports.honda.com for more on those bikes. Uh, you already know how well they perform. Have you seen the Lawrence Brothers this year? All right. Thanks for watching.